NBC 10's Deanna Durante is live in West Philly, where residents say the encampment may be gone, but that fight continues. Deanna. The area here was at a standstill this morning. Just after the morning rush, the sheriff's deputies moved in to clear a courtyard here. However, protesters sent loud messages trying to urge this community to stay put. It is as deputies with the Philadelphia Sheriff's Department came in and took down tents. Protesters ramped up their voices. The department says it had to act and enforce a court order, removing the encampment from this courtyard at the University City townhomes. They took down our encampment this morning. That's okay. Darlene Foreman has lived here nearly three decades. Have you found some place to go? Absolutely not. There is no housing out here. Residents say despite a year of searching, finding affordable and decent living conditions has been tricky. Have you found a place to go? No, I have nowhere to go. Lynn Green cares for her 80-year-old mother. They'll be on the street she fears come September. But the city can stop developers from coming into the city and buying properties. The city can do that. Those here today say they would have liked to have seen Councilwoman Jamie Gaudier here. We reached out to her office and were told she can't comment on the issue. The councilwoman and the city are being sued after the attempts to pass the Affordable Housing Prevention Overlay District, regulations that would prevent demolition of large housing complexes for 12 months and force developers to build required affordable housing. The protesters here today say the city has waited too long to try and take steps to preserve affordable housing options because they haven't found any in the last year. How can they sleep at night knowing the people and, and you know, the mothers and the children especially? You know, they're getting ready to be homeless. You know, they need to really come out and help the people. They really do. And while this lawsuit may have bought residents here a few more weeks, they say they need much more than that. They say they've been priced out of anything affordable and places they do find have long wait lists. Reporting live in West Philadelphia, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.